The Eli Lilly Corporation for uh, nearly 15 years covered up their own internal investigation that showed anyone on Prozac uh, is 12 times more likely to attempt suicide. From director Gary Null. There's an epidemic in the United States. We have an epidemic of diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, fibromyalgia, depression, anxiety disorders, environmental diseases. Why aren't we closer to eliminating these illnesses? The major issue Americans confront today is the fact that the FDA acts to protect the financial interests of the pharmaceutical industry as opposed to the health of the American public. For industry, every day that a drug is held up from being marketed, uh, in their minds, that's another one to two million dollars of profit that they're being denied. The pharmaceutical companies spend eight billion dollars a year on sales representatives. 50% of the money that the FDA spends reviewing drugs comes from the pharmaceutical companies. Prescription drugs you know, sell over $150 billion a year and it isn't necessarily what makes the most sense that really wins the day. It's what makes the most dollars and cents. I discovered that FDA drug approval wasn't based on science, it was based on financial conflict. How did we get here? What can we do to challenge this? In January of 2002, I switched over to Vioxx and I was taking it probably three or four times a week. I collapsed at work. I had a stroke right then and there at work. I started getting arthritis in my hands because I did physical labor on my job and they put me on Vioxx. I started feeling like I couldn't balance right. So I called my doctor and she said to go to the emergency room and they admitted me and said I'd had a mild stroke. People are frequently under the mistaken impression that once a drug is approved by the FDA, it's extremely safe. The doctor told us that he thought the drug Prozac would help Jacob that um, it's a common prescribed drug used in teenagers now, that he thought it would help him with his moods. I left for work and a few hours later I began to call home because with him being at home by himself I was concerned. I found my son hanging in our attic. The FDA has had a 50-year campaign of attacking all alternative therapies. The clinic doors were still locked when the front door burst open, someone had kicked it in and came running in, pulled out a gun and approached within two to three feet of our receptionist and his cohorts ran through the clinic yelling, raid, raid, raid. Practitioners have been sanctioned and harassed when they deviate from so-called standard medical care. There was an orchestrated campaign by senior level FDA managers to intimidate me so that I would not testify before Congress. From the director of Fatal Fallout and Drugging of Our Children comes a film that will shatter the truth as you know it.